Welcome to the Tick Mail Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. On Monday, we learned that the Australian job advertisements and newspapers on the internet fell in October to the lowest level in more than two and a half years, underscoring a softening labor market despite three interest rate cuts this year. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the Fed's Kashgari called for no more rate hikes until inflation hits 2%. On Tuesday, we have the ISM non-manufacturing services composed for October and New Zealand's employment change and the Bank of Japan minutes of September policy meeting to look forward to. So today, I'm looking at the Kiwi Yen pair, which continued its drops on Monday from the key resistance level of 69.80, which falls exactly on the upper band of the daily Ichimoku cloud and the 50% Fibonacci trace mill level. While the pair remains above the 4-hour Ichimoku cloud, it also appears to be trapped in a medium-term range between 69.80 and 69.13, uh, which could very well turn into a double-top bearish reversal chart pattern. On the other hand, the future Ichimoku cloud on the daily chart appears to be bullish. So. With this, you're waiting for a confirmation either above the daily Ichimoku cloud or below the 69.13 level for cues on the next long-term direction. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.